Thanks for taking time out of your WWDC. How's your WWDC going? <laughs> Ours is going really, really well after yesterday. Um, we're really, really excited and really proud. And uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about where we came from and why we do the things we do and a little bit about what we see in the future and uh, why iOS is so important to us. First and foremost, fundamentally, the only reason our company exists is because of the iPhone and iOS. Uh, our co-founder, Jim McKelvey, trying to sell a piece of glass art, couldn't accept a credit card. He called me on his iPhone. I was on my iPhone. We had these supercomputers next to our ear. It seemed like a really simple thing that he should be able to do. And we asked the question why, and the company was the answer. And we've been building in that way f uh, ever since. And we've learned a ton, um, both from our sellers, which we'll be talking a little bit about tonight as well, um, but also from how we develop our system and how we develop our experience. Um, one of the interesting things about our space payments uh, is it's not something that people necessarily wake up and think, wow, I really want to work on payments. That is super sexy. Um, and I just can't wait to get out of bed and work on moving money around. Um, but it's actually quite cool uh, because you realize at some point that every single person on this planet touches it every single day of their life. And it's usually around food. It's usually this exchange of value around uh, food so that we can, we can eat. Um, so there is something essential. There is something fundamental about what we do. And our job is to just make that easier. And we saw the iPhone and iOS as an as a amazing tool for us to do that and to, to do that very, very quickly. Um, our company is six years old. Uh, we have about 1,200 people. Um, we process an enormous amount of money um, through our rails. Not sure, what, what was our last number that we gave out? 30 billion annualized, which is a pretty significant sum. <laughs> Um, and the majority of this is, uh, all of that is actually small and medium-sized businesses. We also process for over 7,000 Starbucks uh, in the United States, and that number is not reflective of the Starbucks volume. So one of the things we, uh, we tried to do in the early days, and I think we succeeded, is we recognized that there was an industry that was excluding folks, and excluding folks that we loved and we wanted to help make better, which is the small independent merchant. These are the people you go to to get that artisanal coffee, uh, a massage, um, any sort of service, a dog walker, Craigslist, all these opportunities where we could actually make the transaction part easy, make it feel uh, effortless, and, and hopefully allow it to disappear. So we started with, uh, with some software uh, and a big black reader that we plugged into the headphone jack because we realized the back of a credit card was really just an audio track, and if you play that through a cassette tape uh, reader, it actually sounds like a squirrel screaming at a very, very high pitch. It's the most unpleasant thing you've ever heard, but um, it's music to our ears because we can actually, yeah, I got that, yeah, thank you. I'm here all week. Um, we, uh, we can actually convert that to, uh, to a credit card number, and that credit card number can be sent up to a processor, and that processor can debit money from an account and then move that money to another account. And uh, along the way, we found all these, all these issues. One is that merchants, after swiping a card, were not paid for three or four days. We wanted to really focus our experience around speed and predictability. So we made sure that we would give them their money after a swipe the next business morning. What's the problem with that? Well, we're not paid yet. So we're actually advancing them money that we don't have. So how do we, how can we, how can we do that? We have money. <coughs> well, how do we know that money's going to come back to us? Uh, the bank, you know, it's building risk systems. It's building machine learning models. It's building an understanding of our customers so that we can actually trust them to do the right things on the network. And uh, whereas a typical merchant would go to a bank and try to get a merchant account to accept credit cards, only about 30% of them would pass because they have to go through a credit check. Uh, we accept over 99% of the people who download Square and want to accept credit cards. So our mindset is we're going to include everyone 
And if we see negative behavior, if we see behavior that we don't like, we're gonna ask those people to leave. And we have the lowest fraud loss rates in the business. We have the highest margin in the business around payments, which is often seen as a, as a terrible, sketchy, low profit business. We have actually made a business that is, that is profitable in that sense. And it's all through application of technology in smart ways and really an understanding of our sellers and what they want to do. So we started with this little reader that accepted uh, credit cards and uh, the back of a, a magnetic stripe. And that was great. And anytime a buyer saw that, uh, that square logo, they knew that they could pay with a credit card and it wasn't a cash only business and they didn't have to go to an ATM. And yesterday we announced our first Apple Pay reader uh, which we want to do something similar, which anytime someone sees that square logo, we want to make sure that they, that buyer knows that they can pay with their phone, they can pay with their watch, they can pay with a chip card, but most importantly, they can pay in a safe and authenticated way. And that's what's important about NFC and EMV is it moves into the direction of more security and more safety. And that means less worry for our sellers and that means less worry for our buyers, and that means they can focus on what's most meaningful to them, whatever that might be. Um, in order to do this, we have to have a perfect and precise pairing around software and hardware. This is not easy stuff. This is certainly iOS code, but it's a lot of embedded software as well into that hardware. It's gotten more and more complex as we've learned more and more, and we've uh, hired people who have more and more experience, but. All the folks in our company, including myself, started this company without knowing anything about credit cards, the financial industry, fraud, risk, or anything that we had to face. And we've always had the mindset of we're going to do whatever it takes to make it work and to make it succeed. And I think we have. Um, so in our future, we want to make sure fundamentally that we're making our sellers better every single day. And we're making an experience for their buyers better every single day. And we think we can do that with great experiences around technology. And for us, that's really around a speedy experience. And if it's fast enough, then people don't have to notice it and they don't have to mind it. And that means they can focus on the, again, the most meaningful things. And wherever we can use that understanding of our seller to give them uh, more insight into their business, more insight into their customer, that means that they can have and potentially drive more sales, but provide a better experience to their customer. But it all comes back to the software we build every day, which we're gonna talk a lot about in this, uh, in this conversation. So thank you very much for your, your time. Thank you for being here and thank you for being interested in our company. We'd love to, to work with you um, and on, on building this. And we think what we're working in is, is fundamental and that is money and it truly is money. <laughs> so thank you. I'm pass it over to Shiva.